Staying in school and staying focused for many children in West Virginia is a challenge. Poverty, bad grades, a lack of interest, family problems, and mental health issues all sometimes leave a child believing the only option is to drop out. Our students are struggling with so many things that we, we're all familiar with. There's so many students in foster care, there's the drug addictions, the poverty, and all of those things just put our students at a disadvantage. But a national nonprofit organization called Communities in Schools shares an intervention program that aims to address those disadvantages by creating a safety net of caring relationships for every student. The program was founded more than 40 years ago. It's been implemented in 25 states, and thanks to an effort by Governor Jim Justice and First Lady Kathy Justice, that group has included West Virginia since 2018. We saw the need for the children besides the materialistic things that they needed there. We needed the emotional tie that we have for that one person in every school, one caring adult to be that child's uh, person in life that they go to and they feel good about it and they're their support system. The Communities in Schools program seeks to connect public schools with community resources to ensure every child is nurtured and supported, that every child flourishes in school and successfully graduates. West Virginia is a licensed Communities in Schools, or CIS, partner, following the national evidence-based model, receiving the latest data, research, and professional development training. Under the national model, the County Board of Education hires a site coordinator who is assigned to a specific school. The site coordinator's sole focus is to identify those student needs and get delivered whatever is necessary, whether that's providing a tutor to help with a class subject, a uniform to participate in band, or in some cases, appropriate health care to save a child's life. Community partners make ongoing donations of goods and services. They include department stores, grocery stores, art supply shops, medical providers, banks, and other private and nonprofit businesses and organizations. West Virginia's First Lady kicked off her All In for Kids Communities and Schools road trip in the summer of 2021. She visited several active sites that were providing fun summer learning activities. So they went ahead and they, they put that in. Now they're making the dough. We're doing the reverse side here. We want to make sure they get the quiche uh -huh. and try it. Uh -huh. So now they're going to be making the dough and they're going to go ahead and good group right here. They, this is their first day in here. Do you all like this? Oh, I love it. I'd love to be in here like you all are. We would. This is so good. Okay. It looks real just to look from the top. Yeah. Okay. Would you all want to go into cosmetology? Is that something y'all are thinking about? Maybe. Maybe, right. It's good to try everything and just see you've got so many opportunities. I want to go in a school, whether it's a grade school, middle school, or high school, and uh, I want to go in there and have the feeling that these children feel good about themselves. I want, they to, want them to have pride, pride in themselves, pride in what they do, and not be ashamed of anything, because I want them to know that they can get all the help that they can do to achieve anything they want to do. And that's hard for a lot of children to accept because they maybe have been defeatist a lot part of their lives. So we just want them to feel great about themselves, encourage them, and just know that they can be the very, very best they can be.